Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen and I'm gonna show you how to make Paul from Llamos with Hats out of Gum Paste. Now before we begin, if you guys need any tools or supplies that you see me using, if you check the descriptions below, you should find links that'll be able to help you out. Okay, now we're making Paul from Llamos with Hats. I showed you Carl, and he is our dangerous sociopath with um, a long history of violence. And here you have Paul, who is the normal llama, the nice llama, who was shocked and horrified. And his reactions are kind of the driving force for Carl. So, so Paul is kind of like his muse, I guess you could say. So to make our Paul, I took some light brown gum paste, rolled it out pretty thick. You know, it's, it's a good thickness, maybe almost even half an inch or so. Using my template that I printed out of him, I am trimming around, cutting it out, and I'm trimming off the bottom part of his legs where it turns a lighter color. I don't have a color printer, but you can still see the difference there. If there's a little niche between the legs, go ahead and trim that out. I kind of did it pretty messy around the head, but that's okay. We're going to come back to it later. If you have any rough edges, though, then you might want to try to smooth those out along the sides if you can before your gum paste sets. There's a little nip in the back end there where his one little leg tucks in. Kind of round off the edges a little bit if you can. And then you're moving on. Okay, I'm putting a couple lines following where the back legs will be. I'm doing that so I can use my veining tool here to kind of outline a little bit. And then I use this, uh, I think it's a pedal tool, I'm not sure. I got them from a Tico. It's a very nice set actually. But um, I'm using them to kind of press down to make it look recessed so that he's a little more three-dimensional. And he's not your typical, you know, completely flat decoration. And these guys too, even though um, Carl and Paul are flat, they are thick enough that if you wanted to have them standing, you could. You could um, let them dry and then just attach a lollipop stick onto the back of them. And then they would freestand. And given that they're more three-dimensional, two-dimensional... They look good. Either way, they're versatile. Now getting back to Paul, I just, as you saw, trimmed around his legs, cleaned it up, smoothed it down, made it a little, little bit more, gave him a little more depth to his body. Cleaning up around his ears and his face now, because I'm going to get there soon. Then he's got a little divot under his chin where his muzzle is, so I'm just putting that little line in there. I moved him onto a paper towel because it's a lot easier to move them around when they're flat like this. And now I'm adding his legs. I rolled out some of the very light brown that I just added more white to it. So there's nothing really fancy there. And cut out long, thin little pieces. Match it up to your template to get the length that you need for that, I don't know, the white part, lighter part of the leg. And attach it with a little bit of water. That's all I'm doing. I did it for each little leg. I just matched it up, cut it, and then attach some water. Stick it on. There you go. And I also pulled down a little bit of the dark brown with my uh, veining tool to kind of overlap a little bit. It's kind of hard to see, but it did happen. See, there you go. Looking good so far, right? I'm giving him his little tail. That was like one of the last things I did on Carl, but I remembered this time earlier, so I did it sooner. I'm doing his muzzle right now. I kind of make a little teardrop shape of that same light, light brown color. He's marching around. I don't know. I was having some fun with him. And once you get into shape, then you're going to stick it into place. I am going to put little marks on his mouth first. He has kind of that line that comes down from the nose and then the mouth curls off on to either side like a, like a typical cat or something like that. So that's what I was doing with the knife. Um, the picture I had used, Carl was talking about the things he had done that day. And Paul was listening to him with skepticism because he feels like he did something evil. So that's why his mouth is closed and the Carl video was open. Do whatever you want. You know, it doesn't matter. But I just like their expressions in the picture that I found. Now I made two little eye sockets. They're very almond shaped and very small. So I just used my template to like match up where they go. Put little bits of white inside. And now I'm adding his hooves. Uh, the hooves are just little triangles basically. That I shaped out of the same color brown as his body. Trim off the top of it so you have a flattened point at the top makes it look more like a little slipper stick them on with water i'm using my black food coloring marker to color in his eyes they're just two dots just like we did with carl there is no color to the iris or anything and he's looking forward so yeah there you go so he's got tiny eyes you know not too big with the pupils or anything 
And now I'm using just a solid brown color to give him his eyebrows. He's kind of got like a frowny thing going on. Like I said, he's listening to his buddy talk about his day with skepticism. So that's why his eyebrows are a little lower. You can make him, you know, make his expression more friendly if you want or whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter for all the high demand of llamas with hat cakes out there, right? You're going to have to worry about the expression. I'm giving him his nose. It's the same color as his eyebrows. It's kind of like a little shaped like a letter M and keep it real small he's got a small little nose too his ears I'm just putting a little indent for each one to make him a little more shaped and now I'm gonna work on his hat I'm using the top making the top part of his hat first I'm just using the template matching up kind of a rusty red color and I'm putting it on the top of his head and kind of folding it over the top a little bit you can sort of tell there so it's not going it's going to sit back on top of his head as well as go between his ears and now I'm using the same color red to make the brim of his hat. I'm trimming it off, round off the two sides, and now I'm trimming up a little bit into the brim, and then I cut it away so now it kind of will curve around the top of his head. And I'm pressing down on the two ends to make it look like it's going back behind his ears once we get it attached. So you want that kind of a shape, whatever that shape is. So when you put it on, you see how it kind of wraps around each side of his head a little bit. And yeah, it looks more like a three-dimensional hat sitting on his head. I did pretty good with that. <laughs> I was happy with how that came out. I'm using five little tiny yellow balls of gum paste to make the petals on the flower on his hat. And I'm just pressing them down. I'm leaving the center open because it has a little red dot in the middle. And there's Paul. He's easy. Like, it's not hard and it's fun. And like I mentioned before, the cartoon is not for little kids, but, you know, older people can enjoy the sick humor of it. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. That really does help me out. Check out my other videos. And thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.